Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. We're going to hop into it, Pisces. We're going to get a universal message and see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. What messages does the universe have for Pisces on their soul's journey? All right, Pisces. What is the message here for Pisces on their soul's journey? Divine presence. Okay. Divine presence. The force of love and creation. So this is the universe letting you know that that is there for you. Right. The force of love and creation. 44. Okay. Hmm. I get so many different type of feelings from this card it's hard to like put a finger on what the universe uh guidance is here for you okay first of all off the top i know that it wants you to understand or understand that you are not alone for those of you who may be feeling like the world has turned its back on you. Everybody you love, everybody, you know, you feel in some type of way right now, obviously. And the universe wants you to know that it is there for you. The force of love and creation. Okay. So you are the creator of your environment. Okay. For those of you who've been trying to detach from your superpower, which is your emotion, Trying not to feel, trying not to be hurt. The force of love and creation. Don't change you. Don't change the way you love, the way you give, the way you create relationships with other people, no matter who they are. You create those relationships with pure intent, with love. That's your ultimate goal. Don't let nobody take that from you. It's You have to be careful of who you attach that love and creation to. That's the thing. It's not the love and creation itself. It's the, the people you choose to attach it to. And sometimes we don't get to choose who family is. But at, 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 at where we're at now, we can choose, you know. So... The divine just wants you to know that it's there for you and it and it always was there, always will be there. You are not alone, you know, in this journey of life. So let's get a divine door for you, Pis Pisces. Let's see which divine doors are open to you at this time. What are the divine doors that are open to Pisces at this time? Oh, really fast. Look at this door. It's huge. It's massive. It's strong. Destiny. One door closes. One door closes. Another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Pass this card on. You can't fight fate. You can't fight fate. Like it's so strong. It's massive. It's it's ready. You know, you can't fight fate. The doors that close on you are definitely the doors you were not meant to walk through or the doors that you have served your purpose in that time frame. So if things, if you made plans or you want to do things a certain way, you want to be around certain people, you want to go certain places and it don't work out for you. And it seemed like every time I try to put one foot in front of the other, something just happens to where I can't, uh, you know, commit to a situation or I can't make it to the finish line here or I can't seem to get this part of my life in order. It's because your life has a divine plan. What you want, what you seeking for, what you are aiming towards may not be the direction the universe wants you to go in. The universe is setting things up, opening things and closing things off as you move through this journey of life because it's guiding you towards your destiny, towards your design course. 
So none of this stuff that is happening to you is by coincidence. It's all part of the divine plan. The doors that do open for you is lessons in that. And once you've learned them or reached your peak there, the universe shut that down for you and, and steer you in another direction. And in that moment, you may not be ready to leave or for this part of your situation to be shut down, but it's time. You can't stay there forever. You you on a divine time. You on a divine course. You you something is faded for you. Okay. <clears throat> So patience, no, not patience, I'm sorry. Destiny is your divine door, Pisces. So let's hop into the reading. We're going to check up on the energy of your person. We're going to see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Remember, take the energies how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, don't try and make it fit. You can stick around to the end. There may be something that becomes relevant for you. But if not, you can carry on to the next video respectfully. All right. So Pisces, we're going to be using the Clio deck today to collect that information for you. Okay. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Okay. We got, who is this? The King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> it's shocking because it just wouldn't even allow me to shuffle no more. The card kind of like got my fingers twisted, you know, with shuffling the deck. King of Cups wants to make his presence known, okay? Um, you know, the King of Cups is a really quiet type of person. And for them to be so upfront and direct and just don't care who sees, who knows. That's what you have to expect out of this person. Like they're forcing their way through. They want to be seen. They want to be heard by you. Okay. They want you to know that their presence is there and it lives. Okay. King of Cups. Out of their element kind of sort of. Right. King of Cups. One who understands. One who who is emotional. One who could be triggered by emotions as well you know queen of staffs queen of wands she's a fiery passionate person right and and she's very strong she she's in control pisces if you're female you're in control of this situation here okay Maybe some of your actions may be kind of like controlling this King of Cup emotion. She's passion. She's fire. Okay. Maybe, you know, um, your passionate life is, is what's got this person wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard. Like you really put something on them. And look, you guys are twinning. You're twinning. You got on the same damn outfit. <laughs> Pisces, you got on the same outfit. Did you guys go somewhere dress alike or just so happen to be wearing the same colors? Like, oh, great minds think alike. We meet up and we literally matching. Like, you know, so it's like you guys got on the same outfit. Y'all tripping out here, okay? So, yeah, it's this passionate thing that's bringing this person, your Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, if you're dealing with a water sign, possibly a fire sign, but it's bringing this person, um, it's making them bold. You know what I'm saying? Things they may not have done, you know, cause they're quiet, they're reserved. They, they, they're not out there like that. You know, this water sign, they don't, you know, they do stuff sneakily. If that's a word, they sneaky, <laughs> right? They, they smooth with how they operate. And for some reason, this water sign was like, no, I need you to see me. I need you to know that I'm here. I exist. I live. This, what I feel is real. Okay. And it proves it because we got on the same outfit today. What else? Ooh, Pisces, the emperor. Does everyone have on the same outfit? And it's that. In the heart of it, the emperor is in the heart of this. I don't know why I'm so excited. It's like something's coming. Like this is about to be good. Okay, so the emperor is here, and and now y'all all got on the same outfit. Let me just look through the deck a little. Let me see. Do everybody have on the same outfit, or is this just really happening like this? And I believe it is. I believe it's really happening like this, right? Everybody does not have on the same outfit, but you guys do. 
Okay, and we have the emperor in the heart of this. And this is definitely someone who wants to be the big dog. They want to be in control. They want to be the only one here. Okay, it's like they're getting stronger and stronger. Like the passion, the love that they feel is getting deeper and more hard to control and keep uh, hidden. Okay, the emperor likes to be in control, right? So somebody's emotions are spiraling out of control. That's why they're acting out of character. So whoever this is, you may not belong to this person. You could be single or you could be hooked up with somebody else. And they're, they are wanting a position. Okay. They are wanting a position here. Temperance. And if you pay attention to this temperance, it looks like the well is running dry, the cups, the water ain't flowing right, it's splashing, it's spilling out. Okay, so someone's patience being tested, right? Because it's like I'm not on the right path. I've been patient. I've been waiting long enough. And I want to be on the same path as you. I want to walk beside you, not behind you or in front of you. Okay, so this is somebody who wants you to fill their cup up. You could be dealing with someone where you can't attend to their needs when they call or text or, you know, it may be only be certain times when you can link up with this person or something and they got feelings for you and that's starting to bother them. They want you when they want you. They want you when they can't have you. They want you when you busy being single or being with someone else. Whatever the situation is, this person feels like they've been patient long enough and it's time to, you know, address the elephant in the room. What are we doing? What are we going to do? Because I want you. So this is somebody who wants, who's going to let you know how they feel. Judgment. Pisces, if you're not single, Hey, if you're in a connection with someone else and this is just someone you're seeing or if you're single, if you're single, you could prepare for a, a relationship if that's something you would like. Because this person definitely wants to be the only one. They want to walk beside you, with you, you know. Um, if you're not single... This is someone who's ready to let their presence be known by the whole world. Your person and whoever else. They ain't making up excuses no more because they can't hide what they feel anymore. It, their emotions have reached this peak. And they can't fight it. They can't fight it. Like, like your destiny card, your door, your divine door. You can't fight fate. Okay? No, I haven't seen any cups but I, the, I mean, the biggest cup is here. The King of Cups, okay? And he's prepared to risk it all for the love of his life. So, if you're not single, you could get prepared. You need to be prepared for whoever that person is you're dealing with. They're going to be bold. They're not going to hide it anymore, Okay, what's crossing everything? The page of staffs. Page of wands. So this person wants a whole new uh, atmosphere. They want to build something with you. Because see, they empty. They feel alone, right? They are alone, but they feel inspired to create, right? The force of love and creation. Okay, you're the force of love and creation. You're the divine guidance. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what this person, it feels like they are ready to have some form of covenant with you. It doesn't matter who you with or what you're doing, whether you're taken or single. They feel like they are the one for you and they are willing to step up and show you, you know, that what they feel for you is real and they ready to create. Okay. That's what this page of wands is about. It's about being inspired. It's about creating. This is a charming person. This person kills you with kindness. They're so gentle with you. You know, they, 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 you're like precious cargo to them. They know how to carry you, how to touch you, how to talk to you. It just seems like they're very passionate towards you, you know, loving and caring. All this fire out here. 
Judgment, strong Scorpio. Okay. Let's clarify this King of Cups. Let's see why did the King of Cups just put itself out there like that? What what happened with this King of Cups to make them feel like they had to take the leadership? They had to take control because they want a commitment. They love you for real. This this King of Cups, this you know the Hierophant speaks of a marriage. You know, that covenant, you know, just us, nobody else. So this person probably most likely want to have a sit down with you, a conversation with you about where do we go from here? You know, so this feels like someone who just can't let you get away. Like I can't let you just keep believing that I don't love you. Okay. Four of cups also come with that. Okay. Okay. And look and look at somebody in the distance. This person may watch you from a distance. They think about you all the time. It's like when they're not with you, they feel so alone. It's like you the one who make them happy. And it's like they may have been loving you for a long time. This could be four days, four months, four years. This, this could have been something that's been happening. And look, they have the wand in their hand. It's like they got the magic stick. All the passion. This could have been stemming from passion and turned into something way deeper. Okay. But this four of cups speaks of, you know, missing out, missing out on what's right there in front of you. Right. And like I said, this person, they don't want to let you get away. They don't want you to be a distant memory. They want to fill this plate up, you know, with your cup, with your love. They need you. To add <clears throat> your love with their love. And they don't want to miss out on it. And that's what it is. And that's why it's like, I don't know if you're leaving, taking a trip. Or if you're just have someone else and they can't see you when they want to see you. You can't talk to them whenever you want to or when they want to because of someone else. Or because of a busy lifestyle, maybe work or something if you're single. But it's like when they get the opportunity, they're not going to be able to, what you say, totally control themselves because they're going to want you to know that they feel deeply for you and that they want to be something more in your life than just a friend or something on the side. They feel like it's deep here. Whatever they feel for you is deep. Queen of Wands. She's in control. She's in love. Ten of Cups. She wants it just as bad as they do. This person. She wants it. Yeah, she wants it. She's in love. That's all I can say. Ten of Cups. You the happily ever after. Okay? This person it could be your happily ever after. You're theirs. Right? I just see there's a lot of passionate love here. Yeah, look. She wants you just as bad. Okay? Pisces, you may want this person just as bad as they want you. Look, you don't want to share this person either. You know, you cover, you, you cover with their love from head to toe. What you feel for them is real. It's stable. Okay. You may have never felt um, like this before about a person and, and you don't want to let go of that feeling either. You don't want that to be gone in the wind. Look, it's like almost a manifestation here. It's like your thoughts are their thoughts and, and it's in sync. It's like you send messages to this person through the mind. Okay. Could be dealing with another water sign. You know how powerful that telekinesis is. You know how you can think something so hard and it becomes real or the other person could feel it or have the same ideas. That's probably why y'all came out the house with the same clothes on. You know, so, and look what's under that. It's the Ten of Coins. You know, I think that you may want this person just as bad as they want you. Okay. But we have this emperor in the heart of it. And he's very controlling. You know what I'm saying? He's very, very controlling of, of things. Okay. And it's the Six of Swords. Okay. So whoever this person is, Pisces, they 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 don't want to really what you call make a scene. They just want to get your attention because the next level, the future, the next step is to take you with them. 
No matter what you have going on. And I see this Six of Swords. They taking you, your kids, whatever you got. You know, and it's like we're going somewhere new. And this is going to be a new journey for us, a new experience, you know. But, you know, I'm not ashamed to let the world know. I come in peace, you know, if there is someone else, if they do have to face an emperor. I come in peace. I just want my girl or my man and their family. <laughs> it's just like period. Like that's what it is. That's what it is. Wow. Oh. So somebody just wants to move forward with you. They don't want no smoke, but they'll give it to you if that's what it takes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, three of swords. <laughs> it seems as if, you know that, like, I don't want to get hood, but it's like, oh, it's Mr. Steal Your Girl. You know that song, Bottoms Up? I think that's it, Bottoms Up. You know, it's Mr. Steal Your Girl. And it's going to leave somebody heartbroken. And that's what I feel like this is. Somebody, this King of Cup may be wanting to challenge the emperor. It's like, I come in peace. Just give me what's mine. So this person, believe they, they, they're in love, deeply in love. And you are too. And um, the emperor, you know, is going to end up heartbroken. Because I don't feel like this emperor, even though they're controlling and all of that, I don't think... uh uh they're going to step out of line out of alignment with themselves for this which prove which which makes a big statement too okay so if king of cup coming for you emperor going to let you go you understand that emperor's going to let you go hmm. wow so temperance somebody's tired of waiting their cups are running dry They've been sad. They've been in their feelings. It's like, you know, I keep losing, you know, it's it's like, I don't know. You and this person could have been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this person just really not happy with the way it's going now. It's like, you know, I can't keep living like this. I can't keep being a secret. I can't keep hiding what I feel. This hurts me. And I just want my two of cups. I need my partner. You know, I need this to be in alignment. It's not even about the passion. You know, it's about what I feel truly in my heart. And this sadness without you. So Pisces, somebody feeling like I just, I just can't be the secret anymore. Or I just can't, you know, be a, a one night stand or just a, a piece of meat or just somebody you play with and fool with. No, it's deeper than that for this person so yeah they've been hurt and they're tired of waiting on your answer maybe they've asked you or gave you clues as to what they feel but they're definitely just gonna out and say what they want okay four of swords because that's their truth the truth is, Pisces, I'm in love with you and I'm tired of feeling the pain. I'm tired of being patient. I'm tired of being quiet about it. Only thing that can heal me is your love. And that's my truth. So this this sword isn't hidden. It's out there and it's pointing towards you like, yes, this, this is what I feel for you. This is what I have for you. I have to state my business. I have to tell you my truth because I have to unlock this i have to do something different i can't just keep letting it flow the way it's been flowing so now i'm saying it loud you know i'm screaming to the rooftops and whatever that brings me i'm willing to deal okay king of wands king of stats okay so don't get it twisted you all know the king of wands he really can be about that life he really can but at this point he's mature Right at this point, he's steady. He knows what he's want. He has a goal. He's aiming for it, and he usually gets what he wants. He fights for it really hard, but he's trying to be mature. He's trying to be a grown man about it. Okay, and it's like you know what? Look, I just gotta speak what I need to speak. Right, I gotta say what I need to say so I could get what I want. But what I'm saying and what I'm doing is genuine and pure. It comes from the heart. Right? I want to unlock your love that you have for me. I want you to be free with that love. I don't want a hidden 
thing. I don't want a hidden relationship. I don't want to hide what I feel anymore. I don't want to play these games. Somebody like I'm a grown man and I need what I need in my life. Now, what's up? I'm trying to make this transition as peaceful as possible. Somebody's going to get hurt in it. I do understand that, but I don't want it to be me. A hermit. I've spent too much time alone. I've been seeking and I found it. You know, I just hope I don't have to keep looking. Right? I hope this isn't the end for us. Because I'm not going to be able to continue the relationship or the connection the way we going is not going to be able to continue once this person exposes themselves i just got sick to the stomach like oh my god once this person exposes themselves it's like they're they, they, and you don't take them up on their offer is done it's over that's that's just what it's going to be because they can't go back and forth with you anymore they they just can't the way they feel for you too strong to be in that in that position with you what's crossing all the energy is the nine of coins <laughs> and the first thing i heard was it doesn't matter your emperor's going to leave you anyway once they come and forth and and express themselves because they're not going to hide what they feel because they don't have time to play games no more and the emperor is going to let you go in peace you know, even if it hurts him, even if it kills him, he's going to let you go in peace. So you may end up single anyway if you choose to stay. You know, you may end up single anyway. So this nine of coins is about independence. You know, it's about self-sufficiency. It's about being stable on your own, but wanting to have a companion, wanting to have someone to add that 10th pinnacle that we saw earlier, you know, to add with this 10 of cups, to add to the hierophant, to the four of coins with the covenant, the truth, live in your truth, live in or is not willing to fight for you. That's a big statement. If he's willing to just let you go after or she, you know, take it how it resonates after whatever time you guys would after whatever, whatever. You know, the emperor may already know they could have been lost you already, but whatever. If you choose to stay, you may end up single anyway. So, oh, this is the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the fourth chakra and it's the heart chakra. And this one is relevant to generosity. Generosity is sharing. I give myself freely and I am open to opportunities to do so. I do this because I can and I expect nothing in return. Speaking from the heart will let those around me know how I feel about them. My generosity will touch another person's heart and replenish their spirit. Through love, I have a positive, spontaneous, and lasting influence on the healing and transformation of both myself and others. So generosity is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button, baby. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.